And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some mid-range frostbite. I'm sorry, we're going to be playing um, our next deck here on our rank up weekend. <laughs> First deck uh, didn't work out super well, but this deck is really, really strong. This is one of the the tier one decks of the format, um, and it's it's an Ash deck. For those y'all that have been watching the channel for the last few months, you know. Uh, how much I really like playing this champion. Definitely one of my favorites to play. And I'm all about Avros and Hearthguard, granting all your allies plus one, plus one, and Omen Hawk, and all that kind of stuff. Trifarian Assessor drawing you a lot of cards. Definitely a big fan of all of that kind of stuff. So this deck is certainly in my wheelhouse. You can see I got a couple of um, my own little card choices in here. I'm not a big fan of Averroes and Sentry in this deck, and so I'm just playing the one. But you know, I wanted like one more two drop, right? Like, so I, I have one in there, but it's not something that I want to be overloaded on. Um, and uh, you know, we have, uh, so you know, I have like a flash freeze because of the Noxus decks. You, know, you really want this against like their Darius or Basilisk Rider. And Fury of the North is just a really, really uh, nice spell to have. And so we're, we're going to have one Fury of the North. Um, cut and like To be able to fit in stuff, yeah, like cut down on some of our card advantage. Cut down on, on a Sentry. Cut down a little bit on Babbling Beard. You know, kind of f more focusing on the five man, or like the five power things with Hearth Guard and Assessor and things like that. And we've really seen the power of Culling Strike, especially in this deck with your Flash Freezes and Ice Veil Archers and all that kind of stuff. So we're maxing out on Culling Strike. Also go with a bunch of Reckonings. That card's also not bad at all. So let's give it a chance. We're going to be playing some mid-range Frostbite. Five games over in Ranked. And then we'll be moving on to some Teemo Swain control after this. Okay, we'll get a mirror match. And we get an awful hand. Cool. Well, I'm mulliganing three of the four. Would I rather mulligan Brittle Steel or Elixir of Iron? I think Elixir of Iron. <clears throat> Do I still mulligan Brittle Steel also? I'm gonna keep Brittle Steel. Ugh, I should have mulliganed it. Man, that's an awful hand too. That's not a good card for this matchup. Sometimes you just get the awful hand and your opponent gets the turn one Omen Hawk. Man, we have not had any luck the last few days, have we? None. There it is. I'll start two turns after you. Trapper sticks up, like, you know, it uh, goes with their Trapper where Bjerg does, you know, doesn't match up with Trapper, so we'll go with, with that. Pretty nice, getting the one mana 5-5 five, five right away. That's pretty nice. I think they, they should be attacking with Ash 100%, by the way. There's no reason not to attack with Ash here. If they attack with Ash, um, even if even if I use like one of my things to block Ash, they still have um, yeah, they still have like 15 other damage that, that's really good attackers coming in. 
Do you think that's a pretty big mistake not attacking with Ash? Carved from the savage cold. Okay, Cabo. Nice. Great armor, tusk raider, harrowing deck. Sounds good. Finally. A little late there, enraged Yeti. A little late. Finally, you're coming around. Yeah, I think the yeah I think the gangplank burn deck is is worth crafting. Now, okay, so I actually maybe not. I don't know. Basically, I think it is right now. Yes, but also I think that next week is whenever we're going to be having the next balance patch, and I think that the there's going to be the Noxus cards in that deck that are going to be hit by the balance Thanks, patch and be nerfed. So maybe not. I mean, that's we're going to know in three days if that's the case. Um, I think the balance patch is next week, but it could be the week after. Um, not 100%. I'm like 75% sure it's next week, but it could be the week after. Um, so, I guess because of that, maybe not. Maybe I wouldn't. If if that wasn't the case, I would recommend crafting it. But with that being the case, we're likely Crimson Disciple, Legion Grenadier, those kind of cards are going to be getting nerfed. I was hoping they were going to be just having, like, multiple Reckonings in hand. That's definitely what I was hoping. Not... Too bad. I mean, I guess that doesn't do a whole, <clears throat> whole lot unless I'd find some more frostbite. If it's a fight they want. Um, no, I'm not. I'm not too big a fan of Captain Farron in the deck. All right. So the problem with playing Babbling Bjerg. Okay, so hearth. Okay, as far as sequencing with these two, if you play Hearthguard first, then you pump up everything, so then the thing you draw with Babbling Bjerg is bigger. The problem with doing that, though, is that something that originally starts at three power, we could draw with Babbling Bjerg, because then it will have five power. So you know, we may draw a worse card. But I guess we'll still go with it. Like, if I play Babbling Bjerg first, we're going to more likely draw a better card. Cool. We got rewarded, still drew a good card. Um, so yeah, that worked out well. You own what you take. It is me! So out of cards in hand, this will be lethal. 
Cat of the Arm loses yet again to Avaros and Hearthguard. I would not want to be you. feel like we shouldn't have won that. I feel like our hand was one where we should not have won that, but we did. So uh, the big thing, the, the big reason why we won that game was Sejuani. We had two Sejuanis, they had zero Sejuanis. Sejuani, super powerful. That was the big reason why we won that game. We did, we had a, we did a better job of drawing at Sejuani. Uh, another mirror match. Yeah, the cat of the arm deck does. Yeah, it does hit harder. I mean, I I'm pretty sure they have card draw also. I don't think don't think that's any different. I mean, I think they have Trifarian Assessor all the same as we do. I'm not sure how good Avaros and Trapper is. Like, am I supposed to just be keeping both of them? To getting those enraged yetis? I'm not not sure. I need just a moment. A true Fragnorian welcome. Leaping into action. Um Question is, what is the worst matchup for Sejuani Ash? And I don't know the answer to that question. I really don't. Um, it was. It was Burn. Before Burn got nerfed. So they attack with Ash, it Frostbites the, the Glory Seeker, and then my 3-3 can block the 5-3. If I play the 5-5, five five, then, um, or Ash, either one, then they would Frostbite that, and then, you know, like, so they're able to attack. So that's the best card to play to keep them from attacking with it. Ooh, I wish I could play Ash and then also play Archer or Fury or for Flash Freeze. You know, like play Ash and play any of these. But that's not the case. Um. I'm going to do this. Brittle Steel so good. I wish I had Brittle Steel right now.
Yeah, I wanted five one mana spells. I ended up going with three elixir, two brittle steel. This matchup, I'd rather have brittle steel than elixir of iron. So this is a matchup that I feel bad about that. Yes, three cooling strikes is absolutely worth it, yes. You said in a lot of matchups, it's not all that useful. Can you name a single one? I can't think of a single matchup where cooling strike is not useful. I think it's useful in 100% of the matchups. Like, I honestly don't know any matchups that Culling Strike's not very good against. Only the finest serve. A true Fragorian will. Okay. Um I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna just like pass and and uh, let them level up Ash and frostbite a bunch of things and attack in for lethal. Like we're not gonna let that happen. We're going to be attacking and putting pressure on them. And I am challenging Cat of the Arm instead of Ash because of these three health things plus Cato can't do a lot of damage. So it looks like they're playing towards, with this kind of blocking, looks like they're playing towards the uh, the arrow card, whatever the thing's called. Obviously, yeah, not obviously not now. It's the arrow cards for whenever they attack. Obviously not now. It would be for this next turn whenever they're attacking. I'm saving Brittle Steel to try to help protect against that attack instead of saving more damage on Enraged Yeti. Yeah, the arrow would be like this turn. Yeah, this this is what I'm talking about. Um. Yeah, if they have harsh winds, that's very bad for me. Cause yeah, I guess I guess you're right. They can't they can't they don't just have the arrow in hand. Huh. 
And they're still, they just pass? Gosh, I just have to take them up on that, right? Oh, no, 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 oh! No, they don't pass, they get to play stuff again. No. Oh, I should have played, should have played Ash. I was thinking that, you know, like, I forgot about the burst spell pass. I was thinking they were passing and I could have ended the turn. And obviously, like, ending the turn would be nice. But I couldn't end the turn, so. Oh, well, just gave them priority again. Hey, what's up, Mike? There you go. Played, yeah, I played Heimer, Teamer Heimerdinger. Got another seven win gauntlet. Awesome. Yeah, I don't know why my opponent passed, but I should have played Ash. You own what you take. I will unite the failure. Okay, so now I have Flash Freeze for whatever they go with the Cat of the Arm, and plus a Brittle Steel for, I don't know, something else. Yeah, I, I have been, like, my, my opponent was really scared of Harsh Winds the previous turn. And so I have been kind of saying that I have Harsh Winds. Kind of. The problem is, like, the, the two, my two best blocks, Brittle Steel, doesn't do anything against. That's the big problem. Where are you at? Four? Right, like, I, I would have loved to Brittle Steal their Ash, but it turned into a 6-4. So that four health I couldn't anymore. Yep, their their draw was Crystal Arrow. So with their with their draw being Crystal Arrow, I can't I can't play these other things pre combat, even though I'd like to. With their draw being Crystal Arrow, it's unfortunate that like I wish I would have Frostbitten Sejuani, and then and force them to block with Ash as the six four. Right, like that's kind of unfortunate that that's how that goes. Oh, GGS. Still 2-0. Oh. I'm still not convinced whatsoever that that, that, that three mana five four is worth playing. I I don't think so. Like that's why I don't have it in, in uh, my deck. Not being able to block is really rough. Okay. Two and O. Double Trapper. Double Trapper starts out slow, but we're going to catch up in the mid game with some one mana five fives. I definitely love Brittle Steel. Maybe. Push back to dark. Maybe I don't need Elixir of Iron. You're late. You are early. Took the bait. This is mercy. All right, with having two Elixir of Irons, they're going to be using that. Um, and then 
Got a frostbite this time. You monster! They did it. They did it correctly. They attacked with Lucian first and then Senna. They did that correctly. A lot of people messed that up. A lot of people put Senna first. attack. Alright, now we can't attack again. Steel calling strike. It's me taking ten, and then I ash attack calling strike. Or heck, I just use set twenty. Oh come on, really? That thing? That'll never change. Hmm. So that's basically just calling strike. They just used. Missed a chance to run. Over there. Pain is nothing. Sentinels of light clear the dark. I just don't want I don't want them to have the one mana tough card or you know, like like give that tough if I do the three three. What's up, in Ray Jetty? Doesn't seem like a very good attack, does it? Can't fight on an empty stomach. Leave no survivors. Tread carefully. They're sacrificing three things to kill one of mine. They walked around. Eyes bigger. Doesn't seem like a very good attack. Should have this just fine. Um. I will unite the Freljord. Today, Ash, you'll see true leadership. Aberrosans, stand together! Stand down. Three and oh. The Witcher's Claw triumph! This deck's pretty powerful. We saw the usefulness of double Avros and Trapper in there. Yeah, that was that was just a you know, just um a that was an attack of like 
desperation. That's what that was, was the attack of desperation. Uh, you know, this, this combo can draw a whole lot of cards. Drawing a whole lot of cards against Teemo, not always the best. It's also a little expensive. I'm going to just mulligan those two instead of keeping them. I kind of want Trifarian Glory Seeker or Culling Strike. Culling Strike's good. As you can tell, I'm not playing Omen Hawk on turn one because I want to kill Teemo immediately. One half three mana on turn two. We see through all. So we'll find room for you eventually, Omen Hawk. Just not yet. Best not ruffle our feathers. This would be I... a good winter. Yeah, we going for that 5-0. I got ways to find new mushrooms. Faster than my arrow? We going for that 5-0. Okay, question. Do we play Hearthguard before combat? Well, I will definitely kill the two Starless Seers. That's amazing. Thank you. All right, so the answer is no. Likely have Mystic Shot. Um, do I just let Mystic Shot kill my Ash? I probably do, honestly. Yeah, I think I just let them kill Ash. We already got rid of a... You know, we're already getting a two-for-one on that. It's just... With, you know, like, looking at our hand, it's just so much better to spend all five mana and play an Avaros and Hearthguard. I'm sure they want to block here and kill Ash. That's fine with me, too. You know, maybe I'm not supposed to because of Assessor, but it's it's fine. But yeah, they, they're a Mystic Shot Ash, and then think about blocking. Definitely worth. What's up, Enrage Jetty? That's good, no Sejuani. I do like kind of like how my opponent's playing this though because they are being super super aggressive and that's kind of the only way that they're going to be winning this is being super super aggressive. They're not winning a late game. So they are basically um, basically punishing me for having Trifarian Assessor and drawing a lot of cards. Or at least trying to with all these puff caps and taking the aggressive lines. Only the finest serve. Is nothing. Today we fight as one. Prove your worth. 
I'm a peddler, not a meddler. Okay, so this will... Uh, you know, do another six to them. Now I have Brittle Steel unlocked on both of those, and we're going to be killing them our next combat. So we just got to not, you know, not take nine puff caps, preferably. And we should be fine. Should be just fine. As long as we don't just draw seven puff caps. Okay, well. I've always been a fun guy. That's a good card. That's a good card. They need something that does direct damage to me. That's what they need to frostbite all my stuff. They have it. Wow. Yeah, now we're in trouble, because now just four puff caps drawn kills us. So now we're in trouble. That was that was nice. I I was pretty confident we were winning this, but the, yeah, then the harsh winds, and then the uh, puff cap drawn. No puff cap. No puff cap. Nope. 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 Okay, it's just one. Not not letting them play like Sejuani, Mystic Shot kind of thing. They just have another harsh winds, don't they? Uh, I guess harsh winds isn't quite lethal, or like isn't. They better not have two harsh winds. Come on, don't have two harsh winds. Okay, that's fine. So that's yeah, that's fine. And that's why you play Fury of the North. That's why we play the one Fury of the North. Dang, that was close. Hey, Black Geppetto, thank you so much for the bits with the luck. So you just gave us that luck right there. Thank you so much there. And good luck on your Rinkin. Whew, that was close. All right, four and O. Oh. This deck's good. This deck's good. We won two mirrors, beat two other decks. It's not like we won by miles, though. It was a close, closer game than I thought it was going to be. And this is going to be a really good test. We play against the number one deck in the format with um, Noxus. Could mulligan it all. I could keep this Flash Freeze. I'm going to keep the Flash Freeze. It feels like that Flash Freeze may be... Really nice to have access to. To our one Avarosan Century. In position. 
Planning on playing Avaroz and Trapper. I don't think that they would block with Legion Saboteur. Right? And so I don't want to I don't want to show them a 3-3 before they make their blocking decision. The trap is set. So the trap is now set. Wish we had Tread carefully. Wish I had one more mana so that if they do go transfusion, I'd be able to like flash freeze. Hey, there we go, Black Pedal getting that resub in here. Thank you so much. Three out of five. We are Two subs away from hitting our sub goal and then playing some extra rune terra tonight. That was the best card to have. Was the best card to have. What did we catch? Um, so, do you think a Fizz deck could be a good anti-meta faster than aggro and anti-control? I The second part, yes. Anti-control, yes. Faster than aggro, no. Fizz is not faster than aggro. Um, that certainly hurt. That transfusion that dealt so much damage. And they still have this Crimson Disciple. Hmm. Uh, no, I haven't, OG. I don't. I don't know what that version is. Um. Discard Draven. For the money makers. Sorry, Darius. So the wrong card. Darius. Discard Darius. That's got to just be another Darius in hand. Discard Darius. Because, yeah, like, Harrowing, you know, like, it wouldn't, wouldn't bring that card back. All right, so I could go Flash Freeze Reckoning. Um, it That does kill my 3-2. I feel like I need to save Reckoning for Harrowing, though. So we're going to just go Assessor and draw a card. Let's see what you've got. Because I do feel like I, I would need this if they would have a harrowing.
arrows to kill me. We'll see. We'll see. Hmm. 10, 17. So the reason why I would want to, the reason why I'd want to brittle steal the Darius is, uh, but then if I do brittle steal Darius, I'm basically dead. Let's see. Okay, let's say I brittle steal Darius. We're not gonna level up Ash. Ash is only at one, and then Ash attacks, and then they have the five four. If they want to keep the five four alive, they block the three two. And then they don't block with Darius, so they take 15, so they die. So they have to have Cat of the Arm die. If I go Brittle Steel here. I guess that's still the same in either way. I, I just shouldn't do it. I shouldn't do it. You know, like, because basically if I go Brittle, you know, I can't Brittle Steel the Cato. But no, I should still do this. Hmm. So it's definitely heroin. And now, how do I survive heroin? I don't know if I do. Because I, I don't think I just survive another Darius. Yes, that's a great, great card to draw. Oh wait, I can't play this and play Reckoning. Wait, no, I can't play them both. Uh... Hmm. Hmm. A true Fagorian welcome. Let's play that. Yeah, I gotta just hope that Cato goes on one of these things, then I can brittle steal whatever Cato goes on. Um. Yeah, you know, at the very minimum, I'm taking three. Yeah, yeah, I needed Ice Veil Archer, Harsh Winds, Ash. I think I already played the Flash Freeze. Those were definitely the cards I needed to draw. Uh, okay, so we're doing that. That's easy, because that is Overwhelm. Uh, and then these things don't have Overwhelm. I just want to keep stuff alive. I just can't these are our keep stuff alive it looks like so i guess i gotta block like that and i can keep nine power alive that's that's the most power i can keep alive is nine okay ggs it doesn't really matter to block darius because if they have a pump spell for darius then i guess there's one specific card because i was gonna say like they would be able to just pump spell the Crimson Disciple, right? If they had Transfusion, but I guess I guess Transfusion they would do the damage to the Crimson Disciple and then pump up Darius. That would kill me. They would randomly have Brothers Bond. That would kill me. Um. So yeah, I should have blocked Darius. Or yeah, Darius, not Crimson. I mean, I guess or Crimson Disciple. No, nah, it would have had been Darius. Yeah, that would have been the that would have been the safer play. Was just put that in front of Darius in case of I would, yeah, in case of transfusion with the ability to do four damage with transfusion. Um. Okay, we got the five zero. Got the 5-0. Um, yeah, mid-range Frostbite's really, really strong. I This is uh, certainly my kind of play style, too. I really like Ash. I like the, the Frostbite stuff. 
Every time I play these Frostbite decks, I do well. Remember the the last time I played um, the my version of this deck, like the version I played like day one with um, Legion Drummer and the Wolf and that kind of stuff. We went 5-0 with that that version the last time I played that too. Um, definitely, definitely my kind of deck, uh, and it's really, really good. I guess, yeah. I mean, I guess if <laughs> If I didn't want to make different videos for YouTube and everything still, probably the best thing would be for me to just play this deck. We'd get to Masters pretty quickly, but we're going to still play different decks and make new videos and everything like that. So, um, all right, got the five wins. If we if we uh, go with the bonus dream tonight, we'll just play some more of the mid-range Frostbite. We'll do that, but um, <clears throat> good start. Good start to the the ranking up. Well, I guess restart <laughs> after Shenvai. All right, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave any comments. Let me know what you think of this list. Let me know what you think of like how I'm playing uh, these little extra one ones and stuff like that. Um, you know, feel yeah, feel free to, to leave any comments of of my specific list. The the flash freeze was really clutch for us. The Fury of the North was also really clutch. Won us that fourth game. Um, so both those cards were really clutch. Liked them quite a bit. Um, so yeah, I liked this list. Avros and Sentries, kind of meh, but it's fine to have. We had the one of them that last game. It was okay, but it's it's not... I don't think this is a 3-0, because I don't think it's a card that we're like, man, I hope we just have Avros and Sentry all the time. You know, it's... Uh, yeah, it's fine not having that much. All right, but anyway, that's it here for Frostbite Midrange. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.